Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make dill palau. Something different, something yummy, and something you can always use. And if you're unfamiliar with dill, this is what it looks like. They're very fine green leaves and they've got this wonderful aroma mm -hmm. and wonderful flavor, but they are a little intense, so you really don't need to use a lot of it. Just a, a good handful is good enough and it gives you all the flavor that you need. But so we're going to be using dill today. And we also have one cup of basmati rice, which we have washed well and it's been soaking for about one hour. Mm -hmm. We just drained the water out right now. For those who are unfamiliar with dill, you, you basically remove the fine uh, leaves and take out all the thick stems. So you don't need this. You're going to just throw that away. And just the fine ones you use. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop them up very fine. So we're going to use a pan that has a tight lid so that the rice can cook well. And in that, we're going to add one tablespoon of ghee. Once that's hot, we're going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, two bay leaves, one inch piece of cinnamon, one whole black cardamom, one green cardamom, and four cloves. And just give it a 30 second head start. And once the cumin has turned a little color and it's kind of sizzling, we're going to add in half an onion that we've just sliced fine. And to that we're going to add one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic, one tablespoon finely chopped ginger and green chilies to taste. Mix and we're going to allow it to cook till the onions get a little color. And make sure you keep stirring so that onions will evenly cook. So the onions have been cooking for about five minutes and they've got a fantastic brown color but not burnt. So to this now we're going to add in the rice that we've washed and drained off the water. So here you go. And to this we're going to add the dill and mix. So we're going to keep cooking and stirring this rice until most of the moisture evaporates. And that's going to give a real nice texture to the rice grains. So it's been cooking for two minutes. We're going to now add, add some salt to taste and two cups of water. And mix. And now what you're going to do is going to allow the water to come to a boil. You can always taste the water to adjust your salt. Okay, the water is starting to boil. So at this point, we can put the gas on a simmer and cover it. And we're going to let it cook for 15 minutes. No peeking. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's have a look now. Ah, oh, that looks good and it smells fantastic. We're going to turn off the stove now and just take either the end of a spatula or a wooden spoon and just kind of fluff it a little bit without breaking the rice. It is very delicate, so be a little gentle. But it looks so good. So once it's fluffed up, we're going to cover it back again and let it rest for about five minutes before serving. So our dill palau is ready. Mm -hmm. Let's first taste and then we'll give you <laughs> our verdict. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So yummy. The ghee, anytime you use ghee to make <laughs> anything, <laughs> it just puts it to a whole new yes, level. It just it's tastes yummy. Yum. And yes. the dill is such a nice subtle flavor. Now if you are a big dill fan, you know, feel free to add in a whole bunch of dill or as much right. as you like. But um, for us, you know, it's just this nice subtle flavor. It's delicious. I know. And this with some reta, just a little cucumber reta on the side or, or just even pickle. I mean, yum. <laughs> yum. Very, very nice. And I love the, you know, the texture. I can taste the onions and the just a slight hint of dill just right up my alley. Yep, absolutely. So enjoy this dill palau and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.